Hello everyone, this is Redact and this game is called The Dark Side Detective. It is finished. Case Police Fires, where we had some homelands running amok in the police station, but we were able to sort that out. Wasn't too big of a problem, no. But let's now move on to the next case, whatever that one is, I can't remember what it's called. Let's do it. Case number five. Lock mess. Give it a go. Case summary. Dooley and his blood wolves are attending a jamboree. The kids rang me in a panic saying something fishy was going on. Use his blood wolves. Oh, those are his... Like scouts or something, aren't they? Right, let's go. Can I help them? Detective McQueen, well, here I am. Camp, what am I doing here? Whatever those kids were calling about, I don't see why Dooley couldn't take care of it. It's because it's Dooley. Can I do anything? Campsite. Campsite. This is what happens when you let the people vote on a name. <laughs> the other choices were cabin in the wood knot, tent pegging, and the place where you'll die. Though not hard to see how this one out. Poorly painted sign says Jamboree inside. Based here, that's odd, but I'm sure the rest will be along soon. To settle in and don't think about it ever again. Hmm. That's actually the kind of sign I'd expect here. <laughs> Silly children. Ugh. Ugh. Let's enter the camp then. It's been years since I came here. Memories, huh? quiet when driving by myself. I need to get the radio fixed for when Doody's not with me. He talk too much. I, don't, I hate people that talk too much. Thanks. Guess that's the closest thing here there is to a nightclub for flies. Old wooden sign. Score reads, park your automobiles here, then throw the keys away. You won't need them with the fun we have at the Jamboree. No other motives, honest. Yeah, sure. Not throwing my keys away. Oh, the rope snapped. I guess I have a sign now. Oh. Wouldn't... Oh. One of those odd Jamboree signs. So we have a wooden plank. Top car. Booth sign. Information booth. Actually, the I is for interloper. I've asked myself, Jamie, do you think people will see this I and understand? You are for reasons why they are unwelcome in this terrible place. I think it's pretty clear. I'm going to talk to Jamie first. Hi there. Welcome to Lake Monster. Get out while you can! What? Why? Why? Because of the lake monster, of course. It's our number one attraction. Avoid it at all costs. What are you doing here? Every day I ask myself that same question. Jamie, you could have followed your dream, I say. You could be a chef. Then I remind myself I cannot taste flavours, and I think I made the right choice. I, um, what are you doing here? Oh, yes, yes. Me and my flights are fancy. I work at the tourism board. And this is the tourism board. It, we, it and I tell people what wonderful things to see and do at Twin Lakes. What to avoid, like this lake and the rest of the city. <laughs> and just avoid, don't, don't come here. Tell me about the camp. Campsite got its name as it was the site of a terrible massacre. It's also the site where those angry, angry spirits were laid to rest. Oh no. 
and connected is also the site where terrible tragedies happen each year. <laughs> where kids go on vacation and do fun at Blood Wolf activities. Yeah. It was a good idea to take kids to where there's been massacres and there's mass murderers and all the rest of it. Fills my heart with joy to see them play with fear. Because everything here is so awful. Tell me about the monster. Oh, huge fangs it has. Oh, all tendrils. Maybe even a big sucker thing. And the wings, oh, if you saw them, you'll probably be wings. They may be fins, though. Hard to tell at a distance. Stands well over a certain height tall and weighs an amount. Are we sure of that? <laughs> Thank you for being so specific. Have you ever seen it? With my own eyes. Sorry, that was meant to be a question with your, my own eyes. No, I've not. Anyone ever seen it? Live to tell of it? No. How many people is it rumoured to have taken? Rumoured many, proven none. Right. A fiend it is. A wondrous attraction for the region. Today I'm torn between Jamie, people need the beast, it brings much business. And Jamie, the monster it kills. Probably. I see. So there's a monster that apparently kills people, but no one's ever been killed by the monster. They've been killed by other things, no doubt. Goodbye. Run, and don't look back. Seriously, how do you get this job? I'm married into a powerful tourism family. So, we can have a look at flyers. Are they different? This flyer reads, Come visit one of Twin Lakes' Twin Lakes. They're not really twins, you know. One of them is adopted. This one says, talk to a Twin Lakes native. Jamie, they said, nobody's going to come all the way to talk to you, but here you are. Yeah, I'm here for other reasons. Oh. Come and see our breathing land. We rose 30 feet above sea level when the mountains last inhaled. Yeah, that's how it works. Twin Lakes, home to the largest population of Twin Lakes natives. Started running out of tourism attractions pretty quickly. Yeah. Come see Twin Lakes Sewer Gator. I admit it, I admit it, that one I made up. But the monster with wings and fins. There's a certain height and a certain weight. Apparently he kills people but doesn't. That's what he led with. Well, we'll see. Do I need to capture bugs at some point? I've got to remember they're there. There's nothing else around. Little pixels of anything. Do you have anything to say? No. Let's move to the campfire. Ludwell Devon. Uh, Devon was the little kid at the library, I think. You're here! Devon, you rang. Blood Alpha Dooley has gone missing. Wah. Dob. Missing, tell me what happened. Much crying. Questionably authentic whales. <laughs> they did it. They obviously did it. If you don't know, he was here last night. Then this morning gone, his bunk wasn't even slept in. Aliens must have taken him. More by a bear, I bet. Let's not leap to conclusions. When was the last time we saw him? We had nighttime hot chocolate. Then he went to the office to, I don't know, do officey things. Where's the office? Guess we start there then. We. I don't do entire cases solo, just convenient sections. Come on. What is a dooley to find? Tense. We need to find dooley. This place is too tense. Wait. What? We need to find Dooley. This place is too dense without him to lighten the mood. Okay. Get it? Too tense? Too... Oh, right. Yeah. All right. Fine. You know what improves the joke? Explaining it. Well, I did need that joke explained to me, so... Hmm. How about balloons? No balloonologist. Pretty sure these shouldn't be slimy. I take them... 
the yard. Was, oh, right, yeah. Okay. Go back. Fire. Nice campfire. Did you guys build it yourselves? Only built it all by herself. I didn't build it, I just freed the flame. How I got my Fire Whisperer badge. Fire Whisperer badge? Red Bulls have a lot of very much not scout badges. <laughs> Best not, not to ask. Beauty, yep. Yeah. Balloons, yep. Yeah. Alright, this is the same thing. Torch them, Emily. Got any marshmallows on you, mister? No, but aren't you meant to always be prepared? That scout's taught to never prepare. Means we're never ready for anything, but it does wonders for the budget. Amelia. Thanks for coming out. These two are on the verge of a meltdown. Looking for him should calm them. No problem. Devon. Sometimes I think the fire is whispering at me to burn things. Oh no. Then I realise it's just Emily. Snitch! So we have tent. Can't see anything else. Let's go here and see if they have anything to say. Like your car, how fast does it go? Fast enough. Don't know, do you? Kind of cases we investigate don't really call for high speed chases. Seven. I like police cars and fire trucks and ambulances and helicopters, but I don't like planes except for jets. Good to know. Why did you become a cop? It was a coat, mainly. You don't get the same swish out of a normal coat. These are special issue. They don't have anything. Does Jamie say anything? Looking for a friend. I, uh, flattered. I thank you. A nice guy, but my social calendar is full. I mean, I have a friend of mine that's gone missing. Of course, of course. Sure, I knew that. What do they look like? Uh, he's similar to me, but about 20% more pixels. <laughs> no, sorry, the monster probably got him. Run before it gets you too! They all laugh when I tell them, Oh, Jamie, they say. You and your monster. And then, bam, it takes one of them. Drags a monster is mountainy or watery, or maybe even cavernous layer. Does this happen often? It might do. It's crafty. Covers up its track by never being seen or heard of or doing anything at all, really. Devious. Yes. It reminds me of someone. Goodbye. Run. And don't look back. Yes. So he... Still suspicious of him. He didn't really answer the question where the guy went. I'm not sure about whether kids would get rid of duty or not. Wreck building. More bags. Clients really need a better hobby. Talk to them. Emily. Glad there's no one else around this weekend. All those other kids irritate me with their questions. What's your name? Where are you from? Wait a second, is that my bag? <laughs> this is empty. Where is everyone? I'm at home with their families. Isn't this meant to be a jamboree? Oh, all that stuff is fake. It's obvious, isn't it? I guess it is, but then why are you guys here? Us? We like hanging out with Dooley. Hope we find him soon. We will. Evan? Sometimes I run around and around and around the building and I go so fast that I move everything into the future. <laughs> How far into the future? That was five whole minutes. How long does it take you to build up the speed to do that? About five minutes. That's pretty impressive, kiddo. Good work. We can go back to the campfire. Enter. We go lakeside. Oh, let's have a look at the window. Nothing in here. Window covers the wall. Got to build the room, but already had the window ordered, so. I see. Dorm room reminds me of a summer camp out here as a kid. Well, let's go in if we can. Oh no. 
Hello. 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 It's Jack Turner, Devon's father. I want to check that the boy's doing okay. Not struck too wide eyed by all that nature, I hope. He's, uh, fine. Sorry for calling up. Jack is a warrior. Are you on the other line, Barbara? I'm just making a little call, Barbara. Just checking in on the lad. Hey, Barbara. You'll be fine, chat. There's no need to keep calling. Leave and have a good time. Yes, well, no such thing as an overprotective parent now, is there? So we can go to the canteen. Go outside, or we can go to the dorms, or we can go to the office. So that's where Doody was supposed to go. One of these is wet and reads, Very real jamboree on this weekend. Doody's pack should come. They are the best pack, and we'll win the jamboree, which is real. Something smells fishy. The flyer stinks of fish. So did the monster create all the flyers? But I'm supposed to believe. Devon. Hey, becoming damp because of leaks. Extreme humidity, being in the jungle, getting scared and wetting itself. Thank you for those pearls of wisdom. Place line to the outside world. That's what we did it. If alone called you on detective. Right. Stop trying to burn that fly. <laughs> Stupid damp paper. So we can go to the canteen. Dorms. Right, let's go into the office first. Report to them. How many blood wolves are in Twin Lakes anyway? Well, as for a pack, three, four, seven. Three forty-seven. The number starts at two ten and skips every eleventh pack, so it's hard to say. An excellent numbering system. When Blood Alpha Dooley is back, I'm going to convince him to turn Bitty into Robot Wars contender. Who's that? Is that the computer? All opposition will be destroyed. Resistance is futile. That's my girl. So there is a AI around here somewhere. Sometimes Blood Alpha Dooley lets us play games with him on the computer. Fill in the police reports is the one we play the most. <laughs> Just do. That looks like a X Files poster. I want to be leaves. <laughs> I keep telling Dooney to stop by knockoff posters. So that's the exit. We haven't picked much stuff for our inventory. Oh. Got Dooley that as a gift. Oh, that's nice. Have to Emily smash the room's light. It had it coming. It's on and Dooley's logged in. Proud of this, but maybe I can find some clues. Recycle bin, my computer, email, browser, folder, childhood photo. Those were good times. Don't worry, buddy. I'll find you. Is that the two of them? Let's see what's in the recycle bin. Find in the head called password. Let's see. Whose password is password? Of course it is. It's as secure as it is surprising. I'm going to look at my computer. The machine is pretty much empty. Got nothing in there. This looks interesting. Greetings, fellow Blood Wolf. You and your pack, I guess, were invited to the 100% legitimate jamboree at campsite this weekend. You have to come. You must. My jaw, fellow Blood Wolf. No need to look it up. So they got invited here to a jamboree that wasn't a jamboree, and then Judy's got kidnapped by Nigel. Browser. Means he was hanging out on this. Oh no. Dudylumicati.com forum. Open thread. Dear Dudylumicati, government are trying to use my brainwaves to hunt me down so that they may pester me into film work. How can I protect myself? 
There's this guy who keeps bumping his post and then pinging Dooley. All these posts are saying, Nigel, follow human for realsies. Yeah, no, you're like a werewolf or something, aren't you? Always a ghost. Or he's, some, he's a zombie. Or something. Starting to see a pattern here. Who is Nigel? Deed. Empty folder. Anything else? That picture. So they knew each other as children. Finally, equal passwords. Pretty much empty. Interesting. So, yeah, there's that. Nigel. It's from Nigel. Nothing. Empty folder. Maybe we'll come back to it. Where's that AI guitar? There's a sticker saying the truth is around here somewhere. Guessing this belongs to Dooley. A celescope? A celescope? This, this is an odd thing for a holiday camp to have. This is Betty. Like Seti, but better. Hello, Armelia, Devon, Emily. Detective. Why is it talking and how does it know my name? We did say it was better than Seti. How can I help you today? Tell me where Dooley went. Nothing. Mr. Dooley wanted you to know his secrets have given you the password. What are you? How are you talking? I'm Betty. I monitor, gather and collate signals in the search for extraterrestrial life. Yeah, like Seti, I get it. Yeah, Seti is a moron. I speak 13 languages. I'm a chess master and I figured out the meaning of life. The meaning of life? Yes, but Dooley deleted that to make it more room for his TV shows. Uh, let's put in and put the password. Ugh, fine. Well, there's a signal. How do we know about, how do we know there's a signal? What's the signal Dooley found? A 2.4 gigahertz ultra high frequency radio signal. Whatever that means. Essentially the internet, but why? Stop trying to cyber patronize me, machine. We had to say it was a fancy internet. We found a fancy internet. Where did it lead him? Across the lake to the signal source. Which was? Great, I don't know. I didn't go. I have no legs. Hmm. Neither info. If you won't tell me, I have to commandeer it. But I can't let you do that, Dave. Uh, um, detective. <laughs> Yeah, Dave. Afraid I can't let you do that, Dave. Devon. Step aside, mister. Time to put my uppity AI badge to use. What? Wait, why do you even have a badge like that? Blood will secret. Sorry. You don't have a needs to know in case of a needs to know basis badge. <laughs> Just do whatever you're do going to do. Okay, you search the map for places the signal bounced through. I'll lock them in. Once we have enough of them, we should have the root blood alpha duty took. What do I do? Here we go. No, he's probably not going through the lake. went there. He went through the lake? He got a boat or something? Aha. Uh -huh. If we went north to this island. It's an island. See? No. Be around here somewhere. Come on. No, clearly not. Let's 
could be further away. See? No? I'd be surprised if it's this far away. Right, let's go horizontally. No. Come on. Go up. Man. You go this way. Down. You, you backtracked. Sneaky tyke. Go this way. Aha. Uh -huh. Go down. Going to find your duty. Can't escape me. Do some paperwork. Go down. Go up. Can't see anything yet. Looks like a map of the lake. What? To where? Dooney? Not sure. Let's print it out. See where it leads us. Let's see item map. Where can we talk to? Not talking to you anymore, detective. Right. Print out the lake with the route Dooney took. Wooden plank. Right. <coughs> I'll do anything. So we've got the map. Let's go and have a look at some other places. I can't see anything that we need from here. Oh, no. Hello. Hello, me again. Just wanted to make sure you were aware that Devon is allergic to technology. Bitten by a toaster once. Has left his EMP device at home. I wouldn't sleep a wink thinking of him out there in that tech filled wilderness without knowing that your EMP is up and running. But maybe you'll send me the make and model number. Hello, hello, Barbara. I think the line has gone dead. Well, we, uh, an EMP might be useful. Go in the dorms. That's where we're going to leave this particular episode. We will continue this case next time. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it back with another episode very soon. Take care, everyone.